What's up, guys? Chad here, Lost World Reactions. Been a while since I've done a video, man. It's been, jeez, you over a year? So, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into some new stuff here. Let's uh, check out this 10 Creepiest Things in Abandoned Buildings video. Y'all ready, man? Let's go. Let's check it out. Ready? Let's go. Abandoned buildings are mysterious places. Who knows what you'll find lurking around the corner or in the basement. You never Part know. Of the curiosity surrounding abandoned places is the reason they were left in the first place. Although sometimes people who explore forgotten places end up finding something they wish they didn't. In today's video, we're talking about the 10 creepy. It is creepy walking into abandoned buildings, man. It's, it's a, if you're afraid of the dark or anything along those lines. It's, it's creepy by yourself. I've uh, gotten scared a couple times in the place that I've been. ...things discovered in abandoned buildings. Don't forget Don't to forget. smash the Check like button, the subscribe screen. to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> cool graphic. <laughs> Number 10. A shark. I've seen videos of, of this one things before. You don't want to come across when exploring an abandoned building. Would that be a crazy? shark is one of them. A shark in a formaldehyde tank was found at Wildlife Wonderland in Victoria, Australia, which had been you left imagine? abandoned since 2012. Urban explorer Luke McPherson visited the shuttered zoo and uploaded a 28-minute video of his adventure man, that'd be to cool YouTube to find a place in like February that, 2019. The video attracted 14 million views, and the story of the great white shark went viral. It seems that the zoo had been closed it's due weird to still offenses just against there. wildlife, still and the owner didn't have there. the correct legal held licenses up anyway. to run the attraction. The great white shark, later nicknamed Rosie, was a dead shark shirt in 1998 and put on display in the zoo. The abandoned zoo was unsafe, but largely because the dangerous formaldehyde liquid was leaking Not a very from the big shark leak, tank. Considering it's still Can you all imagine in there. how scared McPherson must have been when he stumbled across Rosie? Rosie? Huh? It isn't often a human comes face to face with a predator of the ocean. I know she wasn't alive, but that kind of made it even creepier. Number nine, tombstones. In October 2019, a 1930 era building was Great demolished songs. in the Ukrainian village of Chorica. As the building was torn down, contractors Oops. realized it had been built on hundreds of gravestones. The Soviets had seemingly tried to destroy all signs of the later? village's previous inhabitants and constructed a building on their graves. The discovery was made nearly 100 years later, and the tombs were traced Weird. back to a Mennonite community with ancestors in Manitoba, Canada. It seems Mennonite gravestones are elaborate, which helped in their identification. I you wonder if think anyone it's a living in the building idea. experienced anything paranormal. Constructing a building on top of a graveyard seems like a terrible idea. Number eight, a witch. Did a police officer stumble across the legendary Delray witch? An huh. officer who identified himself as Ted Robertson was responding to a domestic disturbance call in the Delray area of Detroit in the United States. He said that as the situation had been resolved, he was heading back Lots to the station when he heard strange sounds Somewhere coming from a nearby abandoned home. A lot of homes are abandoned in Detroit, so Officer Robertson didn't find it too weird until he got closer to the source of the noise and couldn't decipher what was making it. He then captured this footage from one of the windows. It looks a lot like a ghost, right? In the yard of the property, he found an article about the Delray witch, a woman called Rose Varese, Rose, man. who was sent to prison for a number of murders. There was murders. one place where I went to where Did I thought I seen something in the window. I'm not the sure. Del I've never been back there. That I window? would try to like, check it out. <laughs> I hope maybe it was a, maybe it was a, a mannequin or something in the window. I'm this not sure. This is but a wild story. I'd have to in go back February there and of 2019, a man who was high on cannabis called police to report that he had seen a tiger in an abandoned house in Houston. At first, the police thought that a he was hallucinating. Tiger. When they arrived to investigate the scene, they did indeed find <laughs> an overweight tiger locked inside a cramped cage in the garage of an abandoned property. Packages of meat were found nearby in the room but there were no other signs of a person living there. The tiger was rescued and taken to a local animal sanctuary. 
Oh, I'm sure they were, man. After hurricanes and stuff like that, big floods. In the aftermath of the devastating Hurricane Katrina, a lot of buildings were abandoned because they were damaged by flood water. It's horrible going into buildings with a lot of mold. After the disaster, a lot of moldy buildings are waiting for demolition. One building is the Charity Hospital Ooh, in New look Orleans. At that. Before the disaster, it had been used as one of the oldest hospitals in the Ooh. state of Louisiana. Now <gasps> it sits in spooky disrepair. Urban explorers photographed the inside of the hospital, even though I've been, I've been down so in that area, Louisiana, down there near New Orleans and stuff, and you can, you can still smell it. Still I mean, it literally smells right musty there. down there and stuff. They're still. just so spooky anyway. You can just, you can just then smell it. Add in old vials of blood and urine. Gross. That's just too creepy. What would you be most scared of? Everything? An old bag of needles or the ghost of a former patient? I'd be scared of a possible ghost. Number I don't know five, if ghosts exist, bomb. but just the thought of it there are a crazy number of unexploded bombs left after world war ii despite coming to an end nearly 75 years ago the biggest war the world has ever seen is still causing chaos in november of 2019 a, a, world war a grenade II hand grenade was found by a worker inside a house in the populated district in athens greece there isn't an expiration date for explosives. They can be just as dangerous, if not more dangerous today, as they were decades ago. Well, yeah, you never While know. Greece still had forgotten bombs lingering. Germany is the most affected by unexploded old bombs. Oh, During yeah. The, war, the Allied forces dropped 2.7 million tons I'm of sure explosives. I'm sure there are plenty of dubs to go along with all but those. Not all of them yeah. went off. Evacuations in cities are a I mean, regular that landmines over there, there's some country certain, as certain old bombs are constantly just crazy. being rediscovered. Number four, padlocked dungeon. Look at that old padlock. Just before Christmas, a newly built padlocked dungeon was found near an unassuming tree in Pickering, Ontario. Pickering. The 136-year-old farmhouse was long abandoned and hidden out of view. It seems that when contractors arrived to inspect the property I've been for to a house that was built in a new padlocked dungeon was found, causing much alarm. The police kept their findings very hushed, and a full-scale investigation began. The story gets even creepier. After the news broke of the discovery, and as police were still combing the property, it mysteriously burned down. It mysteriously this effectively burned down. destroyed the majority of evidence in the farmhouse, with police suspecting that this was the motivation behind the blaze. Sometimes, what you don't know makes creepy situations even scarier. What was usually the unknown part is usually the part you're more afraid that was of than better anything else. Destroyed the unknown. You're like, oh, found. what could be there? Number three, the koi pond. This is creepy pond. also, but it's, it's so also kind of cool at the same time. An old abandoned shopping mall in Bangkok, Thailand has turned into one giant fish tank after being left to <laughs> rot. It seems that so the, the whole entire so whole, whole bottom floor that's opening, flooded turned so into one to giant into fish tank. The ceiling caved in and <laughs> rainwater pooled several feet deep. You imagine it's thought that the fish were introduced down there. to the water by all? locals. Oh, although look some at all say the they were from the original mall's water features. That's crazy. However they got there, they began breeding, and now the whole place is one giant fish pond. It looks pretty apocalyptic. Wow. Number two, <laughs> the village of dolls. The entire village of Nagoro in Japan is almost totally abandoned. The mountain settlement the used to have of a population dolls? of around 300 people. Dolls? But since 2016, there have been just dolls. 30 residents still living there. While you may think this would mean that buildings what? are almost totally unoccupied, you'd be wrong. Abandoned buildings are now filled with life-size dolls. Um, How hell creepy. No. Is anyone else freaked out by dolls? The Just dolls a are little, the yes. villager Tsukimi Ayano, who grew up in the village. Her family and I went left, to an abandoned place and I looked down the staircase and, and there was an uh, old Raggedy Ann Since doll the down there. It's just she has creepy made more than now. I didn't even go down there. I almost didn't even go down there the first time. The you want to check the video out. You can the check it out, man. It's the, the one place we all watch your clip on. In an empty school sits child dolls wearing the actual clothes of the last living so pupils creepy, to have man. studied there. do that? Other dolls can be seen performing tasks across the village. I mean, they're pretty clean. They haven't been there for a while, but who would go around doing that? doll sits with a rod in a lake. So creepy. That's well, kind of cool, but what's up with all of them? Number one, fairies. Oh, Scientific what the arrangements of the hell bodies no. of fairies, werewolves, what? and aliens were allegedly found in the basement of an old London home 
The story no. goes that in the 1960s, an old abandoned property was being cleared for Looks renovation like a when a bounty load of curious and super weird specimens were found in the basement. The property was said to belong to 19th century aristocrat collector and biologist Thomas Theodore. A blog post detailing the discovery claims that those. contractors found several thousand small, tightly sealed boxes. When they opened them, they were shocked to find what looked like evidence of mythical creatures. A lot of people consider the collection to be fake, saying that if it were well, real, yeah. then museums would have snapped them up. I'm not so yeah, sure. Yeah, snapped up. It been look confirmed real, or something by maybe now. Maybe the bodies are actually models. Maybe Thomas Theodore liked I mean, making one creepy really, really good doll maker or something think? from way back in the day with good practice. Was the, the ten creepiest things discovered in abandoned buildings? You know, know, what right? do you think was the creepiest? Let us know in the comments. The dolls, Have man. you ever found the anything creepy dolls. and abandoned in your neck of the like woods? Dolls. Dolls Share your story with us down below. But yeah, go check these guys out, man. They got some cool videos. All right. We'll stop that. And, all right, guys. That was the 10 uh, creepiest things found in abandoned places, man. Um, we're going to do more of these. And uh, hopefully you come back and check out some more, man. So, hey, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Go check these guys out, The Spree. Go check out my other channel, The Lost Road, that has uh, exploration videos on there. I think about 10 or 12 of them, man. We're working on some more. I got some more coming up here in the future. But in the meantime, we're going to do some uh, reaction videos like this and stuff just to, you know, keep uh, content coming on the, on the channel. So, again, yeah, awesome, man. Catch you on the next one. I'm out.